Well, hello my friends, it's Sean Petit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this beauty we're creating today. Here are the supplies that we'll be using. And so today <clears throat> I've got um, a lot of collage papers in this project and um, these first ones that you see are going to be free in the resource library. At least two pages will be free. Um, they are from a vintage book and they're just delightful. And then this is a new collage pack in the shop. Um, and um, that is available now so if you want to pick that up you can um, but I'll be using a little bit of all of that today so today's piece and then I'll also be working on a 12 by 12 MDF board and all the usual goodies um, stencils that I'll be using today um, are going to be the arches and I don't end up using the vine one it didn't actually go according to what I thought um, and I used a couple, I used a vintage cross um, stencil as well. And when I started this piece, I had no plan. I had no quote. I had none of that. All I knew was that I needed to find some peace. I needed to find some calm because of everything that's going on in our world right now, in our nation. Um, I was feeling a little bit, uh, my anxiety was high and um, still is and it's something that I deal with regularly and I can control but um, I had no plan so I started this piece putting down my vintage papers and my pieces with my Liquitex uh, or my Jerry's matte medium once I got that all down and dry I have my arch stencil here that is um, I just love this stencil and I used super heavy gesso and so here's that vintage cross that um, I got out because as I start putting the piece together, I'm finding different things that are um, having meaning to me. And so the crosses are always meaningful to me um, for my faith and that kind of thing. And so I, that's why I brought that in. Um, and then those collage elements are awesome because they're extending the design, the interest, the pattern of that arch all the way around the piece, in my opinion. And um, there's little um, cherubs on the top of that arch piece right there, which kind of also fit with um, how I was feeling and what I was needing for this piece. I just needed to um, not think and create. And creating art is always always um, such a peaceful place for me and a place where I can get recentered and um, so I hope that this does this for you today. So once I started putting some of that gesso down I wanted to put the additional elements on there and I couldn't do that until I had the arch down. So once I had the arch down then I could actually put the other pieces and these um, these kind of border pieces that I have down that I'm putting down now, I want it to kind of resemble steps or kind of the street or that kind of thing. And so it just worked out wonderfully um, to uh, kind of bring that together. So I'm taking my regular gesso now and I'm just skipping my palette knife across the um, uh, piece there so that I can get some, some additional texture and so that it'll show up once I do a glaze on this piece. And I'm kind of blending it all together. I'm going over the over the um, uh, collage papers and just kind of um, really letting go and having fun and not thinking too much about anything. Um, so I st I decided I was going to do a glaze because it works really well on texture. And when I put this glaze down, it was not this was burnt umber and not raw umber. And burnt umber has more of an orange, warm. Um, it has more of an orange undertone and it wasn't really what I wanted but once I got it down and I wiped it up really well I liked it because I thought it would be a great layer so I did the bottom part of it with that burnt umber and then I mixed up some raw umber which is the color I originally wanted which you'll see here and you can see how it's smokier and darker richer um, than the burnt umber and um, then I just covered the whole piece and wiped that back. My rag was wet so that I could get all of that back, but the glaze helps that um, umber sit in all the crevices and really exposes all of the yummy, yummy layers that are on the piece. 
So I just wiping that back with a little bit of water on my rag and look at oh, how wonderful that is. I wanted to have some depth and dimension and some interest without it feeling too busy. And so I kept a very little color and um, my goal was for this to be calm and peaceful. And I feel like I achieved that um, throughout the piece. It felt calm and peaceful in my mind, at least. So this is my bricks and bubbles stencil. And um, I'm just getting that down again with the heavy gesso. And I had originally planned to do this and totally forgot about it. That's how, how, um, unprepared I was and how I just knew that I needed to get creating because I was feeling that anxiety and so I for totally forgot about this stencil and it's kind of crucial to the piece um, but when I added this after the fact that I had put the glaze down um, I'm like well I don't want to add more um, umber because it'll take it'll take it really dark and I thought, oh, I'll add some gray. And I wanted kind of a white, kind of hazy, chalky, ethereal feel anyway. So it all worked out perfectly. And uh, creating and this space and this time always, always calms my soul. So I'm just finishing up here with the super heavy gesso and the bricks and bubble stencil. So I got my gray, um, this is Liquitex Basics gray paint and some glaze and went over um, just kind of random spots all over the place because I wanted, I didn't want to take away from the wonderful grunginess that I already had going with the raw umber and the burnt umber. So um, I'm just kind of wiping back and, and just really at this point in the piece, I'm just playing. I'm just kind of not thinking and letting go and just being in the moment. And it felt so, so good with all of the craziness going on right now. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of alcohol on my rag now and I'm just going back over all of the kind of textured areas and pulling some of that glaze off of it to really reveal some of that wonderful um, texture and modeling paste on all of the stenciling that I've done. It's just gorgeous. Now, now I'm going to add just a tiny bit of color and I'm using um, high flow acrylic in nickel azo gold gesso and my gray and um, just really trying to make it look like there might be a mist or a haze hanging around or the wall is really grungy and weathered um, just really I wanted to soften it down I didn't want to cover up all of the wonderful elements that I had but I also wanted to kind of um, tamp down the sharp edges of all the papers and so that's that's what I started to do and uh, I just love the look and I'm using my finger because it's always one of the best tools that I have in my toolbox because I can really feel and get into the places that I need to. So when I tap back the paint with my rag, it's helping the areas stay light so that the papers show through.
I wanted that doorway to really be highlighted because that is my doorway to peace. That's um, what I was feeling and thinking in my mind, my doorway to calm. Um, and I wanted it to be a bright, bright um, light. So I'm using just a tiny bit of that high flow nickel azo gold to add um, a little bit more color throughout the piece without adding too much or taking away and it was perfect to kind of have those drips for that old grungy wall. And then some Payne's Gray and I, there, there's a lot of versions of Payne's Gray but Golden's Payne's Gray is the be most beautiful color. It goes really, really deep, rich blue, and I love it. So now I'm going to add my shading throughout the piece. I will really accentuate the arch, archway, and, and really kind of create my steps with my charcoal pencil. I will also highlight the bricks and some of the design in the background. And really, it really adds some depth and dimension. It looks like those bricks are just coming off of the wall, popping out right at you. I will also um, add some writing up in the corner and it's my thoughts for what's going on and I, I'm basically writing I'm where I'm finding my peace, where I'm finding my calm, um, just my thoughts. I will shade around the edge of the piece with a black soft pastel and that's it. This is super simple, but it's also so peaceful to me and it's exactly what I needed. So I hope you stick around for the conversation at the end because I do share about my journey through the piece. And um, if, you, if you like today's project, subscribe and like so that you never miss a video. And um, I hope to see you in the next video and I will talk to you soon. All right, lovies, there she is. Oh, is this just, it's heaven, heaven. Uh, it's just so exactly what I was trying to create and what I, I was hoping for when I started this. I just, and I shared that through the video that I just really didn't know what I was going to be doing. Um, I just knew that I needed to find a peaceful place within me and in my soul and this is what came out. And I am 100% pleased. I did, the texture is fabulous. The elements, the collage pack, the new collage pack is awesome. Stencils all work together. Um, even when I forgot parts, it still uh, just all worked really, really well. I'm so, so pleased. So just a reminder that these initial pages, the book, uh, let's see, where is it? The book of poems, the vintage book of poems that I showed you at the beginning. Um, there's two pages that will be free to you in the resource library and you can use that in your own project. And then the other elements are a new collage pack that are available in the shop and we do 
instant download collage packs and now printed collage packs as well. Um, the stencils that I use today will be on sale. And that is it. Um, so uh, this came because of our crazy situation in our world. I, um, I mean, things are just happening fast and things are changing every day and my anxiety level is like right there on the surface and um, there's nothing that I can do um, with regards to world events except take care of myself and take care of my people and that kind of thing. Uh, make sure that the office is great and clean and all those kinds of things for the staff and um, other than that um, there's where you know everything else is kind of out our out of our control um, helping others um, when we can during this time helps my anxiety um, but in general I have really been um, just spending a lot of time in prayer and meditation and um, just relying on the one above whatever you might believe in you can do that too but that's where I go um, for my um, search in in the time of chaos and I was going to put a word on here but it just did not feel right. Um, I was going to put calm because that's what I was searching for. I was searching for the calm in the chaos. And it just felt perfect just the way that it was. So I did not put a word on here. I didn't have a quote in mind when I started this. I just knew that I needed this time to find some peace within myself. And creating always, always does that for me. And so... I know that so many of you might be feeling the same way with everything that's going on and um, work situations might have changed or travel plans or all those kinds of things and um, I hope that you all are staying safe and healthy and um, taking care of yourself and I most importantly I want to be a calm in the storm. Sometimes the news is just so, it's just everywhere all the time. And I just, I needed a break from all of that and I needed, I needed the calm. And to me, this is calm. This is uh, peaceful. This is like, this is my path. That's peace through there. And I'm walking through it. And I, and all we can do is um, the best we can do. And this too shall pass and um, we will look back on this and learn and grow and be wiser as um, a person, a community, a nation. And um, so I just want to encourage you today to, um, if you're feeling that anxiety or that, you know, it's so hard to pinpoint because there's so much unknown as to what is happening health-wise with everyone and our communities, our um, our nation, and so um, I just want to be that calm, and I need that calm. And um, so next week I will be um, doing a few um, art journal prompts. Um, I'll do that for a couple in the next couple of weeks. Quick, easy art journal prompts to help um, in a place of calming. A calming journal spread and prompts to help you um, to help remind you about being grateful and being calm and um, taking that break from all the stuff that's really what we need to do and I know that's what I need to do but gosh darn it's so hard when you know the news and the social media and all those things oh it's overwhelming and um, so next, starting next week, I will have a couple extra videos on YouTube with regards to just doing some quick journal, journal entries, not anything um, long or drawn out, but quick and easy so that we have that break in all of the things um, 
all the stuff that's going on around us and we can focus on something else and that for me helps my anxiety and just creating I get lost in it and I can stop thinking about other things um, and so uh, that might be helpful to you and I know a lot of people are staying home and so I thought that might also be helpful um, for you as well to have a couple extra videos next week to help you um, find the calm and the peace and the gratitude even in in everything that's going on so that's what this piece is about and that's what I'll be doing next week so oh, my loves I just hope that you are doing well and that you're following all the guidelines and, and being careful just careful careful wash your hands sanitize spray all those kinds of things and just um, love your loved ones and um, I just hope that your week ahead is filled with peace and calm and gratitude and um, that I hope that you always always know how very much you are loved and how important you are to me to this community to my small little business um, that's also being affected by all of this as well so um, you are just so important to so many people so take care of yourself find the peace and the calm this week all right loves have a wonderful sunday